Hi, we're a group of Microsoft Garage interns in Vancouver, Canada, and today we'll show you a cool project we were working on this summer. Probably you've heard about Adafruit Circuit Playground Express, this cool little microcontroller that has more than 10 different integrated sensors. And our project, Device Simulator Express, is a Visual Studio Code extension allowing makers and developers to code Circuit Python, this Adafruit CPX device, even if you don't have an actual board. We provide you with cool things like auto completion, device simulation, serial monitor, debugger, but I'll just get right into it and show you a little bit of, about what you can do with our extension. So as you see, I have a blank page, I just opened up VS Code, and I don't really know where to get started. I want to use this cool extension. So I'm just going to go to Command Palette and look for some of our commands. As you can see, we have a cool command here called New File. That looks like a good starting point, so I'll just hit that. And as you can see on the left, we have a little template that gives us a little bit more information. A couple different links that point us towards you know, good sources of information on the CPX itself, and a little bit of boilerplate code at the very bottom. On the right, there's this cool simulator that's the actual CPX device. We see we can choose a different file, we have a bunch of different sensors to choose from in this toolbar, and we can actually play files. So if I go to a file that I've actually already written, just to save a little bit of time, this cool function, you see I can access the CPX and do a cool thing, I will show you what actually happens. So if I click the editor button at the top, you'll see that at the bottom I can see what file is being played, at here I can currently see what file is being played, and we have these NeoPixels lighting up. So along with the NeoPixels we actually have buttons that you can interact with, we have a switch, we have multiple different buttons, and if you're not a big fan of using the mouse itself, you can even use the keyboard to interact with different parts, like the buttons, capacitive touch sensors, and other things like that. So if we want to go and try something a little bit fancier, uh, I can switch to this other piece of code here and see that along with the buttons we actually have serial monitor work here. So if I want to see what I'm actually doing, what happens when I press the button, I can just deploy this new code to the board. You'll see that the new code is updated. I'm going to press button A and we actually get serial monitor printing, which is really cool. If I press the other button, you'll see the light is flashing due to how I wrote this. And I can even go and find the temperature sensor. Some of these sensors that are harder to display, we have a bunch of different sliders that you can check out and see the actual results on the board. And if we don't necessarily have uh, an input, you can read about the sensor itself, read about the push buttons, read about the slider switch, stuff like that. And some of the features that aren't currently supported, we link you toward a place where you can actually try it out on make code, for example. So another cool feature that I mentioned that we have is a serial monitor for the actual device itself, the physical device. So I showed you that this print statement actually prints on the simulator. But now if I were to deploy it to the board with this button up here and go to the actual open serial monitor command, you'll see that we need to select the serial port and we're prompted with the actual serial monitor itself. Now if I actually press button A on the device itself, you'll see that we get the same serial monitor printing, so you can do the same type of debugging that you do in the simulator on the physical device itself. Now I'd like to show you a pretty interesting feature that we have, which is debugging. So if I just hit this play button at the debugger configuration at the top with our actual debugger configuration itself, and add some breakpoints, as you see I just did, you can actually step through the code and see what would actually happen as we're going through. This is probably pretty helpful if you're trying to learn what's going on with your program and understand why things are happening the way they are. As you can see, we're going through. And if I were to press button B, for example, as I'm stepping through, you can see the light actually turns on as we're walking through. So that's our project. I hope you find it cool and check us out. We're going to be on the marketplace very soon. You can download our extension and let us know what you think.